Hello there, today I'm going to be showing you another one of my handmade gadgets. Although it is not directly related to visual effects, it will make an interesting addition to my series. First a bit of background. I've been working in visual effects industry for over 10 years. Generally the profession implies creation of computer graphics for film and television. However in my line of work I'm often required to do other tasks as well. One of such tasks is system administration and maintenance. Uh, gadget design started off as a hobby and gradually blended with my main occupation. I found that off-the-shelf solutions for my problems were often not available or seriously overpriced. So I started building my own tools, and this is one of them. It's a programmable thermostat, not the kind that lets you control temperature, but one that watches it and performs actions depending on the conditions. In one of the offices where I worked, there was a problem with the air conditioning unit located in the server room. Every once in a while, the air filter would get clogged, and instead of cooling the equipment down, the air conditioner began to heat things up. The temperature in the server closet would rise by about 10 degrees Celsius per minute, eventually causing the equipment to overheat and crash. The server room you'll find in most visual effects studios houses the main server as well as the render farm. The render farm is a cluster of computers designed to handle heavy calculations. It's critical to keep all of these components healthy and well ventilated, as they are the heart of every VFX operation. Our air conditioner did fail a few times. Sometimes it happened during the day when people were around to catch it. Other times it happened during the off hours, and it caused many of the computers to fail. I decided to do something about it and made a USB thermometer that could keep a log of temperatures, alert system administrators, and shut things down if necessary. I used an Arduino platform, fitting all of the electronics on a proto shield. Originally, I wanted to have a variety of controls and indicators, but settled in favor of simplicity three indicator lights, two input buttons, and two numeric readouts. The main reason for simplification is the limited number of I.O. pins available in a standard Arduino. A seven-segment display that was essential to this project is an array of LED lights arranged in such a way that they resemble a digit. Seven-segment is just what it sounds like. Seven lights. It implies a minimum of seven pins required to run them. Eight actually if you count the decimal point, but we're not going to use it, since the temperature is going to be, for the most part, positive and in double-digit values. Uh, with two displays, that's 14 pins already. An Arduino has how many I.O. lines? 6 analog and 12 digital. A total of 18, not counting the serial communication pins which will be reserved by the USB port. If we added 3 indicator lights, 2 buttons, and the temperature sensor, that would be 20 pins already. And those are the pins that we do not have. How to solve the problem? With a multiplexer. Or more specifically with a binary coded decimal to 7 segment converter. A microchip designed exclusively for the 7 segment display operation. It uses 4 input lines and outputs 7. Right next to it you'll see an electrolytic capacitor. The purpose of it is to delay the operation of digits by a few seconds while Arduino board itself is booting up and establishes communication with the computer via the USB. Without it the display might show some junk characters. In addition we're going to use a little trick called persistence of vision. We're not actually going to light up both digits at the same time but alternate between them roughly every 2 milliseconds, too fast for the human eye to catch and even for the video camera. As a result, both digits will appear to be lit at the same time. Those four input lines are going to give us an equivalent of 14 outputs, but we still have to add two more pins to be able to alternate between common cathodes of the 7 segment displays. I will eventually post the circuit diagram for this thing. Check the video description to see if it's there. At the time when I was making this video I haven't had a chance to reverse engineer my own design, when I make these things, I improvise and wire them on the fly. I hold the blueprint in my head and typically forget it as soon as the piece is over. I will post the list of parts, the Arduino firmware and the Python script. All of the essential bits you would need to figure out how this thing is put together. To demonstrate the device in operation, I'm going to connect it to my computer. I'm not at work right now, so there's just one machine to inform and shut down. The back end control is accomplished via Python 2.5 with a few modules. Those are PyWin for interacting with the operating system, by serial for communicating with the Arduino, and send keys, a module that emulates keyboard input, making it easy to script user actions when sending out messages and commands. I'm going to use a blow dryer to simulate an emergency situation. First we're going to see the system send out a warning to itself, and then proceed with the shutdown, mimicking what would happen in an actual air conditioner failure. I'm going to speed this video up to show you what happens in the end. As you can see, the thermostat has done its job. It first informed me of the problem and then took care of it. 
it also recorded a temperature log. So if I were to come into work in the morning and find the machines turned off, I'd be able to find out what happened when I was away. Although this little gadget is not directly involved in production, it does keep an eye on all the essential equipment, letting the artists focus on what they do best, making art. And there you have it. If you like electronics, visual effects, or anything in between, then subscribe to my channel. See you later.